who here loves spending money? Both my hands and my feet raised. I love spending money. Sue me. It's my passion, my joy in life. Um, no. I am doing a challenge today because my goals for the new year have been to just really take care of myself. I've been doing a really good job. I am so proud of myself. And I wanted to really, really challenge myself. I'm so nervous. If you didn't know, I'm a flight attendant and I've been doing it almost now for nine years, which is absolutely insane but I'm very passionate about meal prepping and taking care of myself, but my like little layover routine is always to go find a coffee shop and read, and usually I find a bookstore and I get a book, uh, and I also really like like finding a good restaurant and having a really good meal, but I always have coffee, usually every day I buy coffee, and Usually I wander to a bookstore, so I buy a book or two on layovers, and then I just, you know, I'm just living my life. I'm living my best life, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, going out and enjoying my layovers. That's why I do what I do, but sometimes I find myself coming home with some food left over, even though I spent like four hours meal prepping, you know what I'm saying there? It's like when you buy groceries, and then you just eat out and then you throw all your vegetables out. It's kind of the same vibe except I'm living out of a lunchbox so I'm not using everything I have. And so all that being said, I am challenging myself to not spend a cent on my next trip, which is tomorrow. I'm flying a three day trip, which is usually what I always fly. Uh, it's where I'm gone for three days. I spend two nights somewhere. Usually they're both in different cities. And uh, yeah, I have never not spent money on a three day trip. Sometimes I always eat like all my food and I don't buy out any food, but I always buy coffee in two days because hotel coffee tastes like not poop. It tastes weird. I do not like hotel coffee for the most part. And so I just like getting out and seeing the city through coffee shops, hanging out. But on this video today, we will not be doing that. Welcome to the challenge that flight attendants are scared of. <laughs> not spending any money. I can't even online shop. I love... Lo I have to mentally prepare. Should I leave my card at home? No, that's really dumb in case something happens. First step in getting this challenge off to a really good start is meal prepping. I always meal prep. I've done some videos of how I get ready for a trip and usually the night before a trip, I am meal prepping, I am packing, I'm doing laundry, I'm cleaning, I'm doing all of the things and I've already cleaned and done laundry, but I haven't packed and I haven't meal prepped yet. So it's 10 o'clock right now and we're gonna go hike in a little bit, but I have about an hour or so to meal prep. Usually when I meal prep, I just get on Pinterest and see what looks good to me. I really try to not make the same things because I get tired of it so easily so usually every trip I'm making something new but for today's video and for the trip I really wanted to make something that I knew that I'd love so I'm not tempted to buy out anything and uh, a few weeks ago I made this chicken dumpling soup and it was so good oh my gosh it's so good I love chicken and dumplings I'm from the south and they just are very nostalgic for me and the soup is pretty healthy there's no dairy in it and there's chicken, vegetables, uh, chicken broth. So I just really, really loved it. And so I'm gonna make that and then I'm gonna make like chicken and veggie and then some great like snack packs almost for lunch with some hummus. And then I'm gonna make overnight oats for breakfast, a big tub of it and just eat it every morning. And then I got some really good snacks. I got some microwavable mac and cheese that I'm gonna throw in my luggage just in case I run out of food. I'm really trying to do this trip challenge 
to the best of my capabilities. And so I even got myself some draft lattes from La Clum. So I'd have good coffee, so I'm not tempted at all. I'm gonna do the dang thing. So let's meal prep one of my favorite meals. I will link it down below and I'll kind of show you how I'm making it, but it's really easy. It's not a lot of ingredients. <sighs> and we're gonna do it. <laughs> let's start cooking. My soup is all ready. It is smelling so good, but uh, I still have to make chicken and do my overnight oats, but I have to get ready and go hike. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then I will finish meal prepping when we get back. Exactly. <laughs> Finishing up. So oh, meal prepping. I am about to make overnight oats, rolled oats, yogurt, almond milk, sweetener, chia seeds, some vanilla, cinnamon, and that's it. I finished up meal prepping. For lunch I have chicken with carrots, celery, grapes, hummus, and then a perfect bar. It looks really good and it smells really good. Joseph did the chicken for me. I always have him cook the chicken because I'm really scared I'm not going to cook it all the way. So he cooked the chicken and seasoned it really well. I have two snack packs and then a bag of salads. So that's three lunches and then for my dinner, I have that chicken, I always wanna say chicken pot pie, but chicken dumpling soup. And these are so heavy and packed all the way full. This honestly is probably two meals. Even though I only have two of these, they're literally so heavy. It's like probably three, almost four meals. If I wanna eat this for lunch too, I can eat my snack pack for dinner, I can switch it up. But this is at least three or four meals, so I have dinner covered. I made a big thing of overnight oats. This is, I don't know, it's definitely enough for the three days. I really only care about coffee in the morning, which is not a very healthy habit to have, but I have probably three days worth of overnight oats. I'm also going to pack some bananas to put on top. I think, honestly, that'll do it. I hope this is enough because I'm not spending any money. Or am I? Just kidding, I'm not. We did it. We're done. I think my sign-in is at 8.30, I want to say. Sign-in is at 8.20, so I have to be at the airport an hour before my flight leaves for really any flight that I'm flying. Uh, but at the start of the trip, I have to sign in, and it's an hour before, so that's 8.20 tomorrow. 
And then yeah, I get home at 11.09 p.m. on the third day. So I have a full three days. We're gonna go out to eat with some friends and then I'm gonna have an early night and I will see you in the morning for day one of my no spend challenge. today I do LA Charlotte and then Charlotte Phoenix it's like almost an 11 hour day so a pretty long day but I'm gonna be flying all day and then I get to f where am I going I already forgot wait did I say Charlotte Phoenix I do sh <laughs> I don't remember. my coffee hasn't kicked in I do LA Charlotte and then Charlotte Tampa and then I have a longer Tampa layover uh, but yeah I have all my food I have all my stuff packed I even brought my workout weight so like my fun thing is gonna be working now and doing Pilates I can't even online shop what am I gonna do with myself who's ready to not spend any money I'm in Tampa my Day one of the challenge was a success. I spent zero dollars today. Today would will probably be my easier today to not spend any money because I was working all day. I even booked a class on ClassPass and it's like a Pilates reformer class which is like those really scary machines that you lay down on. So I booked it and then I was reading the information and you have to have these special grip socks and I don't have any with me. And some places uh, will like let you be barefoot. So I was like, oh, you know, hope I can be barefoot. And they said it's required. So I literally had to cancel my class reservation because I didn't want to buy socks because that's how serious I am about this challenge. My husband's watching this like, to go do a nice workout before I head out and get outside and find somewhere cute to go read. So let's go work out. successfully went to one of my favorite coffee shops and a bookstore and I didn't spend any money. Thank you so much. I made it back from coffee. Not spending money is kind of fun. I just 
am eating my little snack pack that I made. I usually heat up the chicken, but the microbes are downstairs, so I was just like, I'll eat it cold. But it's 2.15 right now, and my pickup is at 5. So I have like almost three hours and I don't want to like just sit in my room the whole time so I think I'm just gonna go back to the gym and watch something on my uh, iPad while I'm there I want to show you my joy and passion in life I got this app it's called happy color and that's what it looks like right there it's not like color color it's like color by number and you tap on whatever color you're trying to find but it's fun because they make them really small sometimes so you have to like really look for the cup the sh like the piece you're trying to color in but I'll show you what it's like in case you're an iPad kid and you want to get this app the colors you're trying to get are at the bottom and whenever you're on a specific one it'll be like highlighted and you just zoom in and you see how like the gray is highlighted whenever you click on it it fills it in and so like even here you can see there's like a really tiny one so sometimes it's really challenging because you think you're done but there's one really really small one that you can find my husband makes fun of me because it's like i'm a little tap machine this is what it sounds like but uh i just wanted to share a little bit because um I spend a lot of time doing happy color and when I get back I'm gonna read and color a little bit. So I stay off eBay and Amazon and my used book app that I love to go on and browse and I'm always like I'm not gonna buy anything but then you know how the story goes. So I'm gonna take my iPad to the gym and just watch what I would be doing in bed just to kind of keep my body moving and to do something a little bit more productive. And I know if I lay around, I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna browse some online shops that I frequently fly at. So let's go head to the gym and do a little walk. Uh, it's 4.52 p.m. here in Tampa and I'm about to leave and tonight is a pretty late night. Uh, I do Tampa, Miami, which will be nice and quick and then I have like two hours in Miami and then I do Miami, Phoenix, which will be a long one. So not too rough of a day, it's just really late. I will let you know tonight when I get to Phoenix how I do, but I have plenty of food left over and I even have like a little mac and cheese uh, microwavable thing if I get tired of what I have but let's get ready and go fly to Tampa wait I'm in Tampa to go fly to Phoenix <laughs> That's a.m. 2 a.m. and also it's 2 a.m. like in Phoenix so that means it's my normal body time so I'm tired. Day two of the no spend challenge is complete and I did not spend a single penny today. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. I didn't spend anything today. I ate all my food. Oh. I'm very proud of myself, but I'm gonna get ready and go to bed and try to get as much sleep as I can. So I will see you in the morning for my final day of the no spin challenge, day number three. I need to go to sleep. Good night. Do you know how good, oh, how good a beautiful grande iced oat milk shaken brown sugar espresso drink sounds right now <gasps> we're not doing it we're not doing it and today will be the last in the hardest day because it's a long day and starbucks just sounds so ugh. sounds like a warm hug i am gonna go fly home 
and have three flights today. I do Phoenix, San Antonio, so random, never done that in my life. I didn't even know we did that. Uh, but Phoenix, San Antonio, San Antonio, Dallas, and then I have a little bit of a sit in Dallas. I think like two showers, and then I do Dallas, LA. And I'm home at 11 o'clock, and Joseph and Hattie will come pick me up. <sighs> And then I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars. I'm just kidding. Um, I am gonna get home late, so maybe I'll talk to you depending on how good I feel. But if not, I will talk to you tomorrow and share a little bit of how I'm feeling. I feel really, really good. I feel like I accomplished something without really doing much besides just doing what I'm supposed to do. But anyways, I will see you either tonight or in the morning and celebrate three days of no spending any money and completing my challenge. I am home in rainy, cold, dreary Los Angeles. I'm here to tell you that I successfully completed my three day challenge of not spending any money. And I know some of you might be watching this like, uh, a challenge you didn't spend money for three days like that's not a challenge if you're not in the aviation industry or don't really know anybody that's a flight attendant pilot and is gone a lot like I live out of my luggage in a tiny lunchbox for three days with no kitchen no appliances like it's really really hard to not spend money doing what I do unless I keep myself trapped in the hotel room which is not my vibe and not why I became a flight attendant and so it's really hard doing what I do, not spending money. That's why this is a challenge for me. And maybe you're somebody who just lives at home and not spending money is a challenge for you too. Welcome to the club. But for me, it's really challenging because I'm just gone, I need things, I have my little layover routine so I don't stay cooped up in my room, depressed and sad and lonely. So I spend money. So that's why this was a challenge for me and I'm so proud of myself for not spending any money. And if you're somebody who wants to be better at not spending money and you love spending money, whether you're a flight attendant or a normal person as I call everybody that's not a flight attendant, challenge yourself. Even if it's just for a day, even if you have to keep your card at home or log off Amazon, like whatever it is, I feel so good and spending money after now that I've challenged myself was really rewarding and not just impulsively doing it. And so I hope I keep this mindset up and I hope that you learned a thing or two or leave here challenged or just learning a little bit about what it's like being a flight attendant. There's a lot that goes into it. Thank you for being here. I hope you're celebrating my small little victory in the grand scheme of things, but it's always so good to grow and learn and better yourself. And with my job and my habits, not spending money is a really cool thing that I am learning how to do and learning the importance of as I grow in myself and my family and you know just life. So thank you so much for being here and for cheering me on during this 20-ish minutes of this video. I'll see you next time.